if things change faster outside your company than they change inside your company, you've got something to worry about. You know, what we're talking about here is your future. If we don't change, you won't have one. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Herb Kelleher was born in Camden, New Jersey in the year 1931. He was the youngest of four children. Now at the age of 12, Kelleher lost his brother in World War II and shortly after his father died of a heart attack. It was at this time that Kelleher became very close to his mom and to this day he praises her for his work ethic. Now Kelleher has a very colorful personality and he demands to be called Herb. So we're gonna go ahead and run with that. In 1955, Herb married his wife, Joan Nagley. Joan's parents, well, they lived in Texas and as newlyweds, they began to visit them often. Now Herb fell in love with the Lone Star State and in 1961, they left New Jersey behind and headed south to Texas. Herb began practicing law in Texas, but it was not real exciting to him. And he even quoted that every day I went into work, my shoulders, well, they dropped lower and lower every day. Now, one of Herb's clients, Roland King, approached him about an idea. See, Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio were really a long drive and pretty far apart. And existing airlines had real long gate departures and often served really unnecessary meals. Herb and Roland King met at a bar. They drank whiskey and sketched out their business plan on a cocktail napkin. And Southwest Airlines was born. See, the concept was really quick gate departures and cheaper rates by removing in-flight meals. In 1992, Southwest Airlines, they started using the slogan, just plain smart. But a company called Stevens Aviation was already using the slogan and threatened to sue Herb over the, over the trademark. But Herb challenged the CEO Kurt Herwell into a public arm wrestling match to see who gets to keep the slogan. And this was also called Malice in Dallas. And it was a match that Herb lost and forfeited the slogan. Herb started with one plane and he grew the company by looking in other states such as Florida who had the same thing as Texas with cities spread out pretty far. And he called it his interstate airplane model. Today, Southwest Airlines has 3,900 departures a day and carrying the most domestic passengers by any U.S. airline. They have over 53,000 employees and a revenue of $20.4 billion. And they've turned a profit every year of its existence. And this is one cool thing. They've never had an in-flight fatality. Now, I was recently in Atlanta and I flew Southwest Airlines. Now, I was aware that Atlanta had an 18-lane highway down because it burned, but I never took into consideration the extra traffic that was flowing the way that I was going to get to the train and I missed my flight. Now, Southwest Airlines was very accommodating but the trouble was it was the last flight of the day and I was stuck in Atlanta airport till the next day. Now I got really upset and I was mad at myself and I went into a corner and I, I had myself a, a big pity party and I was all mad and acting childish. But see, here's the unique thing. Herb Keller went to different cities to look for opportunities to grow his business, right? But I had an opportunity. I was in a different city in a different state and instead of venturing out and maybe jumping into an Uber and learning something from an Uber driver, 
going around and talking to different people and doing different things that might help me to learn one or two things to grow my business. I sat in a corner and gave myself a, a pity party. Her became very wealthy off of Southwest Airlines. And there is a lot of wealth in Texas, period. I mean, oil coming from the ground and there's just a lot of money in Texas. But here's the reality. Most of the money in the world is in the cemetery because so many of us have this great idea or this great thing that we're gonna do, but we don't do it because we get stuck in our comfort zone. We're scared to step out into a different city and, and learn more, try different things that are gonna take our great idea, our great book or our great film or, or whatever it is that we want it to be. And it never develops because we never step out of our comfort zone. Herb Keller was not afraid to do that. And now he owns the largest airline in the world. On a business note, if you wouldn't mind sharing, liking, or even commenting on these Motivational Mondays, I would appreciate it. I really enjoy doing them and I want to continue to do them, but it is a lot of work. I have to do a lot of research, a lot of um, production and film editing. And if they're not being viewed or watched, I would like to utilize that time to maybe make a second film or do some investigative, investigative journalism. So it's more of a help me out thing is not so much as I need it to, to grow and to, you know, flood other people with likes and stuff. I just would like some feedback on what you like. And if you don't like, Hey, I'm fine with that too. So, Hey, have a great weekend. We'll see you next Monday.